All right, guys, it's uh, June 2018. I uh, wanted to do an update. I know it's been probably close to a year since I've done one. Uh, sorry, I've been doing a whole lot of other things, remodeling the house, and also uh, learning how to fly a paramotor, which is one of the things I may start adding to this channel in the future. So, just so you know. But anyway, as far as the aquaponic system uh, on the Harbor Freight greenhouse, the plastic is just about dry rotted. It's very brittle. You can put your finger right through it. So I'm going to have to replace it with either a replacement kit or I'm going to uh, have to uh, find a different material altogether um, to use in place of it. So I don't know which one's going to be most economical and which one's going to last the longest. Anyway, moving on, as far as the actual system goes, well, it hasn't produced the kind of vegetables that I wanted it to produce, but it's been fun. I've enjoyed doing it. Over here, I've got goldfish, and these guys are so hardy, uh, they won't die. Uh, of course, you can't eat them. I don't guess you can. Anyway, um, and then over here I have the brim and shell cracker, but they slowly die off. I don't know why. Sorry the water's so cloudy. Uh, my system actually got low on water. And um, I don't know if you can see those guys in there or not. Uh, anyway, brim and shell crackers just really don't do that great in this system because I guess they prefer to have more space, I guess. Tilapia would be uh, the best thing, but tilapia is illegal to have, so in North Florida anyway. So that does create a problem for me because from what I understand, tilapia would uh, um, reproduce and I would be able to eat them and everything else. So I don't know. Anyway, as far as the actual aquaponic system goes, I've got quite a few different varieties of tomatoes in here and they all seem to be producing hold on a second let me turn this water off I think I've got enough in here sorry about that anyway uh, got quite a few different varieties here you see some tomatoes growing there and there's a couple there I think the system had stopped functioning because I had run out of uh, uh, water. <laughs> so it was just kind of stagnating. We've got uh, quite a few banana peppers here. I think one of them is producing. Yeah, right there. And then I've got a bell pepper here. That guy's producing a few. Um, got a spearmint over here. Tammy likes that in her tea. And of course we've got plenty of basil, two there, and one there. And uh, we like that in our Italian food and whatnot. Got one aloe plant left over there in the corner, so I'd not to get rid of. Got quite a few varieties of tomatoes. They're, they're producing some guys there. Um, I like the cherry tomatoes. I like throwing them in a salad and stuff like that. This one over here is producing quite a few of them. So I don't know. I've got a, uh, I've got a cucumber over here, and it's starting to die back some now. But had thousands of blooms on it, and not one single cucumber. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if I'm not getting enough bees in here or what. Anyway, I just saw one there. Anyway, all right. So that's the update, and. Uh, Anybody have any advice on anything, let me know. I'm always open for suggestions. But I still enjoy it. It's fun. Um, but I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't put my grocery list on it, that's for sure. I still go to the grocery store to buy stuff. So I'm not off-grid completely. And I still use electricity too. I'm not solar panels. So. Anyway, that's it. See you guys later. Thanks.